Well, I think the thing I found most interesting about the conference is the ability to introduce the idea of specific types of alt data to an audience that might not be familiar with it, uh, but also the, to give more information to those that are familiar with it. So it's, it's a great combination of you know, newcomers and experienced folks uh, around alternative data uh, and what's going on in the markets in general, and just the ability to be able to share some, some information and content with them is great. I, I think it is important to think about alternative data, whether you're a fundamental manager or if you're a, a hedge fund, you know, a quantitative hedge fund. The value, I think, to fundamental managers for alternative data is that there's a lot of different types of alternative data. And it's alternative to relative to what they've been traditionally using, which may give them an additional information, uh, a better understanding of their markets. And so the real value is not just that uh, it's something new and different, but that it could really provide them some insight that they've not gathered from traditional sources of information they're already using. Well, I think that's also really uh, important from, uh, from that standpoint to understand what's your, 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 uh, your goal. Um, so if you're looking for alpha generation, then you obviously have to look for data sets that are, are unique, uh, that will provide you the alpha you're looking for. Uh, but if you're looking for more of a risk mitigation or situational awareness standpoint, um, broadly used data sets could still be valuable because they're giving you insights that you may not have from, from other sources you're using. So it's really a, a, a thought of you know, what are you really ultimately trying to achieve by, by bringing in alternative data and then finding the data set that provides that for you. I think the industry is going to continue to evolve. I think there's there's many different data sets out there. Uh, I think that with all the conversation around personal information and, and GDPR coming from Europe uh, last year, there is going to be some, some conversation around the use of data, the source of data, and I think it's important for end users to really think a bit about where they're getting data from and, and what's that data source from so that they can really make sure that they are uh, you're protecting themselves in, in the types of data they're using. Um, but it wouldn't shock me if, uh, you know, if the Wild West uh, scenario of alt data comes into a little bit more under control uh, as more companies come in, into, the, into the industry. Yeah, I think we just have to continue to think about what the market's asking for and, and look at the use cases that currently exist and, and really be innovative on our own and think about new use cases. Uh, we're always thinking about new source of information. Um, there's a lot of publicly available information out there. So for us, we like to think about how can we capture a wide variety of sources of publicly available information and provide use cases not just for real time, but maybe even for, for kind of a longer term view as a fundamental manager might be looking for.